the new version of DeFi Render 2.5 was released some days ago. And in this video, I'm gonna list all the most important features that you have to know. That's because in this new version, the people of DeFi Render fixed and upgraded a lot of tools and UI designs that it's gonna make your life a lot easier. And also, I have to say that in this video, I'm gonna mention all the new features that I personally consider are the most important features. I would suggest you to watch the releasing video in the D5 YouTube channel, where you can find all the technical information about how to use these tools. Also, you can find this video linked in the description below. So, let's jump right in with this new version. The first thing we have to mention are the general improvements of the engine GI and shader improvements like the subsurface scattering. If we compare these shaders with the past version, we'll notice that there are almost no signs of noise in the model and lighting. Also in the new version, the skylight also affects the subsurface scattering, making it looking much more realistic. Another thing that was improved its GIs are the vegetation assets. We can see clearly in the scene how the light leaks and bounces inside the bushes, giving them a more realistic look. Speaking about vegetation, the grass material also had its improvements. Now this material can generate 3D grass along the entire surface of the model that has the material applied. Not like the past version that somehow the grass didn't grow along of the edges of the model. And you don't know how happy I am with this little thing. Another new feature is the SketchUp Live Link plugin. Now you can work inside the SketchUp and the model, materials and the textures are gonna update in real time in T5 Render. I actually thought that this feature was already applied, so this way you can make design decisions a lot more faster and efficient. Now I have to mention the new camera system and the video editing updates. Now you can create cameras inside your scene and pin them on your viewport, so now you have a constant reference about how the camera angle looks. Also so now you can create video animations from the cameras that you've created. It's a thing from the past, the fact that we have to manually move and keyframe our camera to make an animation. Well, it's still possible to do that, but now you can work with the method that you prefer. Finally, all these shots, we can drag them and reorganize them into the timeline on a much easy way. And I think there's no need to say that for me, that I'm an Unreal and Blender user, this new way to manage the movie clips fits me like a glove. And now we're gonna enter for a moment into the artificial intelligence area. That's because now D5 Render comes with a new image upscaler method based with machine learning which is D5 Super Resolution. The way that Super Sampling works is that your PC is gonna render let's say a 1080p image as usual but D5 and this new AI it's gonna upscale your image into a 4K image trying not to lose in detail into your image and that way your render times are gonna drop up to a 65% and this goes fantastic for a low-end PC. The new section tool is an awesome adding that architects and designers are gonna love. This tool allows you to make section renders, 3D commercial plans and also construction scheme on just one click. And also another thing that I consider really cool is that this section tool fills the insides of your model with a color that you can change with any other color you want. And it won't show the inside of the meshes like another program. <laughs> Well, I'm actually kinda sick. <laughs> and now, finishing this video, this new feature is gonna make a lot of interior designers really happy. And that's because now lights can emit caustics. And what are the caustics? Caustics happen when a light shines through a translucent and reflective object, like water or crystals, and the light bounces off, so that creates these beautiful shapes that usually appears on pools and around crystal chandeliers. And now guys, last but not least, the new D5 Studio Workspace is the new feature that works completely the weight. This new function allows you to storage information and data and share it between projects. In the past version, we had the possibility of saving assets like materials, textures, and even models in our local library. But this, my friends, goes much further than that. That's because in this new D5 Studio, more than just saving models and materials, now we can save path patterns, brushes, fills, 
end effects. That's right! Now we can reload the effects that we made in our previous projects in our new projects. All the presets will be storage in the cloud and linked with your D5 account. So that way it doesn't matter if you're using a different PC. The only things you need are an internet connection and be locked into your D5 account so that way you'll have all your presets in the palm of your hand. But wait, there's more! There's one more extra detail. In this new D5 Studio workspace, you'll find a new tab called D5 Curated. Inside you'll find basically the best lighting and effects for your scene made by the best 3D artists in the D5 community. This guys is the best of the best that D5 community have to offer. This way you'll have the best presets and the best effects for your project in just one click. So that's it guys. I repeat guys that these are the new features that I'm personally more excited about. That's why I didn't mention another improvements like the new installation method, the over 400 new assets in the library, the new gizmo redesign, the new batch modifiers, the light source shape display, and along etc. You can find all this on the tutorial video made by D5 Render that's linked, you know, down here in the description below. So thank you guys for watching this video, tell me what do you think about these new features are you an architect, an interior designer, an engineer? Are you planning switching to D5 Render? I wanna read all your comments down below. And now that you're down there, click the like button if you liked the video or if you learned something new today. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the videos that we upload on this channel. You can support the channel sharing this video with the people that you think that this information could be helpful. Follow us on our social networks, we have Facebook, Instagram and TikTok, as well as on my Instagram, TikTok and Spotify accounts. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and also thank you to the people of D5 Render that made this video possible. And guys, just remember that this is XVS Studio Cinematica and I'll see you on the next video. Click the like button if you liked the video or if you learned something new today or if you learned something to... Ah! Or if you learned something new... Ah! And now... Or if you learned not... Or if you learned something new today. Vamos, carajo.